this morning we are playing scenario three in the explorers and pirates expansion and it's called fish for Catan so make sure that you have played scenario one and two in this expansion because this one just builds off of that so everything on here, if you've played, will look familiar except for the fish component in front of me here. So fish are transported by your ship. They are a large piece. I'll lay it down so you can see better. So one fish takes up the whole boat. All right. They don't go the other way. So to get your fish, we play a little bit differently than the rule book says, just so that we remember. When we roll the dice, we use the yellow number. So let's say it's a five, that's what we roll. So you would place a fish from your bowl onto the fishing hole with the five. Okay, so let's say the next person rolled, again, another yellow five. You do not put two fish on a fishing hole. That would just be forfeited until the fish is gone from the five. Once you get your ship to the fish, and again, as soon as your ship touches one of the corners, it's yours to pick up. You then take the fish back to this piece here, and you must deliver your fish at one of the anchors. When you get off, you deliver it, and you move your token up the mission card. Whoever is the furthest along on the mission card, don't forget, you get your extra bonus victory point. These fish to start the game, just like the pirate layers, are upside down and have green moons and orange suns. So we're going to go ahead and add those to our piles over here. And we'll make sure that before we place those onto our board that they get shuffled really well so that all the fish aren't together. So that's kind of the breakdown of Fish for Catan. Everything else is the same. So I think that's about it. We're going to set up the board. We'll pause it again and we'll walk you through what the game board looks like. And then we will get playing. set up and realized while we were setting up that we forgot to mention that some of these come out so you're going to be taking out three of the orange suns and three of the green moons specifically the orange suns that come out 2c and one pirate gold mine they come out they are not used Specifically, the green moons that come out are 2 sea hexes and one fish. This one can be random. It can be any uh, rider chose to take out the one. 
That's totally fine. Doesn't really matter. So, now that that's done, we're going to show you the order again. So, we're going to roll to see who's going to go first. So, Ryder is placing first. So, we're going to show you the order. We're going to have red. And these are the harbor settlements. Next will be Lily. Then Mum. Then Mum will get to place her settlement. And then Lily will place her settlement. And then Ryder. And then Ryder will place a road. And a ship with a settler in it. And then Lily will place a road and then mum will place a road with a settler in it. So this is the order that we're going to place in, playing a three-player game. Remember, harbor settlements cannot be built, they must be upgraded from a settlement. Harbor settlements may be built along the coast. They may even be built here on the fishing house, the fishing hut that you come back to. They can even be built there. That being said, they, no settlements or roads can be placed here. You can't build one out here or anything like that. But you can place on the main island onto the fishing hut. So I think that's it. Keep in mind when you're rolling, the yellow die will represent our cats like the game. The yellow die will represent where you will place the fish. There may only be one fish per hex and only one fish fits in your boat at one time. And I think that's it, so we're going to go ahead, set up, play the game, and let's see who wins.
best game. Blue one, mom one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then over here, if you can, see, I'll bring it onto the screen. I delivered three fish, so that's two extra points. Fourteen. 15. So this one goes up to 15 victory points. It was a really close game. I think we were all about to win on our next turns here. So this is, I think, I think it's safe to say this expansion is a family favorite. Do you guys agree? Yeah. It's, um, adds a lot more things in traveling. And I know Lily really likes this, this fish one. This is probably her, her favorite here. Um, so, yeah. Check out the Explorers and Pirates expansion box and keep playing and have fun.